Hi. For the past two years, I've been working in Samoa at a school called Chanel College. You know, a lot of people ask, like, what do you do in Peace Corps? What, is, what exactly is your main purpose of being there? The main purpose is to help a community, help a school do something that they can't really do on their own. And one of the pieces that Samoa misses is technical and computers. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to give you a tour of the computer labs that I've been working on for the past two years from October 2005 to December 2007. Okay, each lab has its own little unique story. So hopefully you enjoy this little tour. Let's go. Okay, first of all, this, these are the Chanel school grounds. That right there is the Chanel tennis court. And this is the main building. All right, right here we have computer lab number one. This it was the first lab that was here when I came in October 2005. Yep. As you can see, we have a lot of computers in here. There are 24 computers total. When I got here, there were only 20. And some of them work, some of them didn't. Uh, basically, this was the only truly functional lab when I arrived. Uh, they are all connected, and all the computer labs are connected to this computer, which is a server computer. It's been my main computer for the past two years. All right, let's move on to lab two. All right, lab two. This lab was also here when I first arrived, but unlike lab one, there were only about 10 computers that actually worked in this room. All right, the windows also had to be replaced. There were cracked glasses and it wasn't a very clean place. We had to clean it out a little bit, get rid of a lot of computer parts in the back. And now this room also has 24 computers. Lab one and lab two are what we call our senior classes, which means that the students in years one, years 13 and 12 get to use these computers. The main reason is that these, the first lab and the second lab, we don't want those computers to be abused or used by the junior kids because the senior kids have to take exams on these computers. All right. Moving on to lab three. Okay, the area we're about to come up to is the assembly area. Okay, sometimes the st school has meetings and sometimes the school has assemblies in this area. This walkway in leads to the buildings in the back which are make up the rest of the school. Okay. About about seventy percent of the actual students who go to these schools, go to Chanel College, actually are housed in this room, in these rooms over here. One thing to keep in mind is a while ago I had to network uh, labs one and two all the way to lab three. So I had to climb up to that little manhole and get my elbows a little dirty. So Peace Corps isn't always about relaxing on a beach, having a good time. There's hard work involved. All right, coming up to lab three. Now the story behind lab three is this was the actual lab that I thought I would be spending my two years completing. Okay. This room has 28 computers in it. All right. This is primarily used for the junior classes which are years 9, 10, and 11. 
Uh, when, we, when I first arrived, this room was filled with nothing but broken monitors, as you can see in the back, and broken computers on top of just regular student desks. Instead of taking a year and a half, this only took me about six months to actually complete this. And when we got it done, it greatly alleviated the problem of not having enough computer classes for our students. All right, so this lab was completed towards the midpoint end of my first year, which was 2006 in Samoa. Lab four is our newest lab. It was actually conceived of in January of 2007. When I first arrived here, we never even considered having a fourth lab, but once we realized that we can do it, Kevin gave me the okay, my principal gave me the okay, and we actually did it. It only took about uh, about eight, six to eight months to get every, all the computer equipment here. This room has 28 computers as well. It is also a junior level computer classroom. Okay. Last year and towards the beginning of this year in January, this class was actually used as a year nine regular classroom. Okay, well, then we decided we needed to convert it to a computer lab to fit all our students. So, this is the only lab that I have created from start to finish. All right. The fans we added in, the lights were the only things that he, that was here, the cabling that comes from the ceiling we added as well, as well as the power cables, the networking, everything. This room was completely redone since January of this year. All right. The only bad thing about bringing all these computers and stuff into Samoa is things break and unlike in the states when they break we can't just recycle them and send them to Dale or HP or something like that we just have to stack them now unfortunately we're not able to start a recycling program for these monitors but hopefully whoever the next volunteer is will be able to do that Alright, so when I first arrived, we only had two functional computer labs. In my time here, this whole school block is now dedicated to computers. What that means is that Chanel College is the only college in Samoa with the capacity to serve all of their students every single day with computer studies classrooms. Computers are the future of this country and I'm glad that during my two years here I was able to help that future. I hope this, this short tour has given you a better understanding of what I've been doing here for the past two years. While this place is very beautiful, it's the work that's been done in these labs which makes the, all the hard work and the struggle worthwhile. Thanks.